Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Use a Web Videos. Today, we're going to talk about a recent incident that happened in Mumbai, where a slab from the Undari flyover fell onto a moving car. Fortunately, the driver escaped with minor injuries. Let's dive into the details. The incident took place near the Jogeshwari Gundavali flyover on the Western Express Highway, WEH, around 3.30 p.m. Rajesh Singh, who was driving the brand-new, unregistered Skoda car, was on his way to Borivali for a trial run when the slab fell. Singh managed to escape with only minor injuries, a stroke of luck, considering the potential severity of such an accident. Eyewitnesses, including the Val Shah from the Lokandwala Ashawara Citizens Association, reported that the slab fell on the car's bonnet, not the roof. Shah highlighted that if the slab had landed on the roof, the outcome could have been much more tragic. This area sees a lot of pedestrian traffic, raising concerns about the safety and accountability for such incidents. The Undari police recorded Singh's statement and have taken note of the incident. Senior Police Inspector Santaji Gorpada mentioned that the bridge is old and that they have requested a report from the Brihambai Municipal Corporation, BMC, based on a structural audit to determine if negligence played a role in this incident. It's important to note that the Virmata Jijabai Technological Institute, DJTI, had already conducted an audit in April, warning that the superstructure of the flyover was in a precarious condition and needed urgent repairs. Dr. Abe Bambali from VJTI stated that while the substructure seemed sound, the superstructure was damaged and needed immediate attention to ensure the bridge's stability and serviceability. The BMC, which took over the WEH from the Mumbai Metropolitan Regional Development Authority, MMRDA, in November 2022, had previously sought permission to remove an RCC framework below the flyover as it posed a visibility issue and was in a distressed condition. Despite these warnings and requests, no actions had been taken, leading to the unfortunate incident. Following the incident, BMC officials inspected the flyover and confirmed that the overall structure remains intact. However, they have directed the responsible contractor to secure any loose parts immediately to prevent further accidents. The area under the flyover had been leased for commercial activities, but construction was halted due to litigation, leaving parts of the structure incomplete and potentially hazardous. In response to the incident, the BMC plans to spend approximately 95 Indian rupees crore on major repairs and structural audits to ensure the flyover's safety. They also plan to carry out these repairs, mainly at night, to minimize disruption to traffic. It's a significant investment, but necessary to prevent future accidents. This incident has sparked discussions about the accountability of civic authorities and contractors in maintaining public infrastructure. Citizens and local associations are demanding answers and action to ensure such negligence does not endanger lives again. Let's take a look at some tweets that captured public reactions to the incident. One user tweeted, The slab falling from Undari flyover is a wake-up call for our civic authorities. How many more warnings do we need before taking action? Another tweet read, Grateful that the driver escaped with minor injuries. But this highlights the dire need for regular maintenance and checks on our bridges and flyovers. Public sentiment is clear. There is frustration and concern over the apparent neglect of infrastructure maintenance which poses a significant risk to public safety. Civic bodies must prioritize these issues and ensure thorough inspections and timely repairs. Now, let's move on to some questions and answers related to this incident. Where did the slab fall from the Unnary flyover? The slab fell from the Jogeshwari Gundavali flyover on the Western Express Highway. What time did the incident occur? The incident occurred around 3.30 p.m. Who was driving the car, and what was his condition after the incident? Rajesh Singh was driving the car and escaped with minor injuries. What type of car was involved in the incident? 
The car was a brand new, unregistered Skoda. What did the VJTI report say about the condition of the flyover? The VJTI report indicated that the superstructure of the flyover was in a precarious condition and needed urgent repairs. What action has the BMC taken following the incident? The BMC plans to carry out major repairs and structural audits, and they have directed the contractor to secure any loose parts immediately. What were the initial reactions from eyewitnesses? Eyewitnesses were relieved that the slab fell on the car's bonnet and not the roof, as it could have resulted in more severe injuries or fatalities. How much is the BMC planning to spend on the repairs? The BMC plans to spend approximately 95 Indian rupees crore on repairs and structural audits. What was the initial purpose of the space under the flyover? The space under the flyover was leased for commercial activities, but construction was halted due to litigation. What are citizens demanding following this incident? Citizens are demanding accountability and immediate action to ensure such negligence does not happen again. In conclusion, this incident underlines the critical importance of infrastructure maintenance and the need for civic authorities to prioritize public safety. The timely and thorough inspection of bridges and flyovers is essential to prevent such accidents in the future. As always, we will continue to monitor this situation and provide updates as they become available. Thank you for watching Yuza Web videos. If you found this information useful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on trending news topics. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.